racists joke that nuclear fusion is the power source of the future, and always will be. However, a new international collaboration is underway to make nuclear fusion a reality. This is the site of ITER, a reactor that will one day recreate the process that powers the sun here on Earth. So I've heard this is the biggest science project in the world, is that true? If it is not the biggest, it will be very near the biggest, involving, of course, also a very large amount of money. So in your opinion, why is fusion power worth all this construction? It promises to be one of the cleanest energy sources that you can think of. We do not have, uh, like in the other nuclear plants, that the core of the machine, the, uh, the fuel rods and so on, stay radioactive for hundreds of thousands of years. Yeah, and you have to bury them deeply somewhere. This is not the case with the fusion. So this site before us really could be the solution to the world energy crisis. Absolutely. At present, there are several around the world that are in operation. And so this is, I think, unique about ITER, that it, it is um, a considerable step forward. Mm. And then the next step really is building power stations. I think it's certainly true that this will be a very great thing for mankind when we can make it happen. The ITER reactor will not be turned on for at least another 10 years. In the meantime, there's much research to be done to make sure it works. The jet reactor in the UK is one of several sites around the world where pioneering scientists are working hard to understand how to create a self-sustaining fusion reaction, a reaction that gives out more energy than it takes in. This is how it works. An atom of hydrogen is made up of one positively charged proton and one negative electron. It also has two variants or isotopes, deuterium, which has one proton and one neutral neutron. Tritium has two neutrons. In a fusion reaction, deuterium and tritium fuse to form a helium atom and a high-speed neutron, the same reaction that powers the sun. In a commercial fusion power station, the high-speed neutrons will be slowed down by a denser material surrounding the reaction. This slowing releases heat, which in turn produces steam to drive electric turbines. But sadly, it's not quite that simple. To achieve reaction rates high enough to create a self-sustaining reaction, the two types of hydrogen must be heated to 100 million degrees Celsius and contained at the right density. These conditions occur in the fourth state of matter known as plasma, in which electrons are stripped from their atomic nuclei. To keep the incredibly hot plasma from cooling, it mustn't come into contact with any material surfaces. Therefore, it needs to be contained inside a very powerful magnetic field. That's where a reactor, known as a tokamak, comes in. Hi, Hilary. Good afternoon. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Welcome at JET, in this, uh, in th in this place where you will discover, I think, uh, what nuclear fusion is. So this is where fusion takes this place. This is where fusion takes place. And here at the Joint European Tours, we can find the largest tokamak in the world. It is, is the true? largest tokamak in the world. And uh, of course, we are building another one, which is even larger in, in Cadarache, in south of France. So where we are standing right now, is this where fusion would take place? Yes, in the middle. Typically in the middle, this is where it takes place. And are we talking 100 million degrees centigrade? We are, yes. The main torus in ITER will be much larger than this one? Much larger, yes. Twice as high and twice as large, so the, the volume will be uh, ten times larger. The process of heating the hydrogen fuel to a plasma, hot enough to achieve a fusion reaction, is known as a shot. We're with Emmanuel and his team at the control room at JET. They're just about to launch a shot. Just a couple technical difficulties, but I'm really hoping they figure it out because I'm dying to see this. So how did this last shot go? Uh, we're not very good. <laughs> it isn't easy, is it? It's not easy. Uh, they, some magnetic sensors are failing. 
normally we'd, we'd, we'd go on to about 60 seconds with a, with a mm. shot today, but it's cutting out. It doesn't look like you're giving up, though. No, 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 we're, we're here. We're here to the end. We're not gonna, we're not gonna give up. It's amazing how dedicated everybody here is in the control room. Yes, we just fired a shot. Yes, it was unsuccessful, but that isn't stopping anybody. In order to produce a plasma shot, JET uses 600 megawatts of power, thousands of components, and billions of brain cells. There's a lot that can go wrong. For some reason, I'm really nervous. I, it hasn't been a very successful day, so I know there's a lot of pressure riding on this. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. No. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have fusion. Finally. Yes. It was successful. Finally. Yeah. Congratulations. How does it feel? <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's been a long day, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Long night. Yeah. Well, you must be relieved now that you've, you've been successful again. Yes, a bit. <laughs> You're back on track? We're more or less back on track. All right. Thank you so much, Manuel. Clearly, there's a lot more to do, but Emmanuel strongly believes that a fusion future is not too far away. More than half and almost actually a, a three quarters of the energy on Earth is coming from fossil fuels. We know the, that we are creating irreversible effects to the, to the climate. And so f fusion is one of the solutions. We know that in the end, what we'll, we will produce is so important for the climate, for our children. I mean, the development of ITER is one example. We think the final solution for the, for the development of diffusion energy. We think it's, it's really worthwhile.